Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with the next game in the um, season of the uh, Minnesota North Stars. And uh, let's go to the tail of the tape here. League stats. As you can see, we are in third place in the Norris Division. Um, we played 70 games and we're 34, 29, and 7. 75 points, 5 points behind Chicago, and 20 points behind the St. Louis Blues. Um, so, yes. And since the last game that I televised, we went 4, 1, and 2 to get to this point. And I believe our current game that I'm going to be um, televising today is against Buffalo, the Buffalo Sabres, who you can see are not very good. They're 31, 33, and 5 currently. So there's that. So let's get on with the game. Uh, new scheduled. And um, let's uh, let's play day. Hmm, I don't know that one. Yeah, Alexa doesn't know that one. So uh, there's the scores for those games, and now we'll go back and we will game new scheduled, and we will put it on manual as it was actually. And we're home against Buffalo. And so let's get going. Turn the sound down. Uh, yeah, we got the, uh, there you go. So, um, they got Clint Malarchuk in net. The thing I remember about him was that he got his neck cut open with a skate during a game was bleeding all over the ice they took him to the hospital and he wanted to come back and play the second half or the like the third quarter the third period or whatever or maybe even the third second and third periods because this might have been in the first period that it happened but leave it in the comments let me know um what you remember about that um but that's what i remember about it so let me move myself over a little bit here so I can see everything. So let's see who wins this face off. We got Brat and Dolan and uh, Bellows out there on the front line. Uwe Krupp comes away with the puck. Loved Uwe Krupp and Mike Ramsey and really a lot of these guys. Andrew Chuck, Howard Chuck, M McGillney. All right, so uh, Dan Kesmer has an outside shot option. Do we have Kes? We have him. I, this is the first time I've seen Dan Kesmer. Um, but he is bad at everything, so we're just going to shoot. I do not remember Dan Kesmer. I don't even remember him really in real life. But I haven't seen him yet playing for us. So McGillney now has the puck for Buffalo. I think by now it's a foregone conclusion that this team is going to make the playoffs just like the 91 team did. In fact, it's probably still ahead of the pace. Uwe Krupp with it. My man, Uwe Krupp. <laughs> oh, so Uwe Krupp has the puck, and we get it back. But maybe they took it back away? I don't know. I mean, we're really scraping the bottom of the battle of barrel if we got Dan Kesmer playing. Um, player for the shot, Brian Bellows. Yeah, that's that sounds good to me. And that's going to be um, a save, and the defensive left wing comes up with it, and that is Benoit Hogue. Another blast from the past. This whole team is just 
firing my brain cells from when I, uh, all the memories from when I was a kid. So he loses it and oh, Dolan has it. And there's a penalty. Looks like there's a penalty maybe on Bodger. Doug Bodger and Jim J. It looks like it's offsetting. Yeah, it is. Doug Bodger, another one. Another blast from the past there. I should do a season some some year where I have like all my favorite players on one team. Although from this era, it would be like almost everybody. All right, uh, pl select player for possession after the faceoff, and we're going to give it to Dahlquist because he's across from a B penalty. And Madano, or no, Dahlquist, yeah, Dahlquist has it. And now uh, Wells has the puck. The guy looks like Steve Grogan. All right, so let's see. Dahlquist has the option to intimidate Dale Howardchuck, and I'm going to say yes at 40%. Nice hit, but no pan, no penalty. So it looks like we get the we get the puck. Yep, so that was a nice hit. So we've gone back and forth here, five minutes in the books, pretty much, and it's zero zero. Two shots for us, none for them. So they're not playing well, and that's good. That's a good sign. I mean, I could easily have taken this Buffalo team, too. I mean, with the guys on it. So, but I love the Minnesota. I mean, they were my favorite team until they left. Mike Ramsey has the puck. And there's a possible penalty on maybe Jim Johnson. Yeah. So Jim Johnson going to the box for two minutes. We didn't need that. Pierre Turgeon and Rick Vive. Come on, man. This is just great. All right. So, Bodger has the puck. And 25%, I'll say yes. And Rick Vive, he feeds Rick Vive in front of the net for an inside shot on Hayward. We have Brian Hayward in net today. That's bad news, too. But, you know, you got to figure Casey was going to need a rest at some point. So Neil Broughton has it for us. Um, Perry Berezin is the recommended guy for the shot, and I guess I'll take that. Uh, he's just going to shoot it. I mean, we're, you know, shorthanded. I just want to get the puck down. At, and, uh, that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman for Buffalo comes away with it. That's Uwe Krupp. Uwe Krupp. And he feeds Doug Bodger for an outside shot. That's going to be a save in the defensive center, but we don't have a center because we're on a uh, we're short-handed. So they'll probably get it back, or maybe not. No, Kesmer got it. I don't know why we didn't get it, but you know. Andrichuk takes the puck away and has an inside shot, and that's going to be a save in the left defenseman. So Hayward playing pretty well here in the early going. And Rob Zettler has the puck for us now. And we're back to even strength. The penalty is over, which is good. And 60%? Yeah, I'm going to try that. And yeah, he was hammered, and now Brian McRae has the puck.
or Basil McRae, sorry. And uh, Andrew Chuck with an outside shot, and that's a six. That's going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with it for us. So that's uh, Shane Churla. Snuggard took the puck away. I don't remember Snuggard, and he has an outside shot. And that's a goal. He takes an out snugger, a guy I'd never even heard of, takes an outside shot and scores. All right. Well, that's it. And that's his seventh goal. Dave Snugger with assist by Rick Vive and Doug Bodger. Crazy. All right, Basil McRae has the puck. We're losing one nothing, and we're losing in shots five to three. Nine twenty one left. Rick Vive with an outside shot. As usual, around the seven minute mark, I'm going to um, reduce it to two minutes left in the period, uh, just to move the game along a little bit. And and I may do that even again at some point to try to condense the game if it gets out of hand, which I'm thinking it probably won't, but we'll see. So Zettler with the puck. Um, yeah, we're going to try to, they stole the puck, so we're going to try to intimidate them. And it doesn't work, and Pierre Turgeon has an inside shot. And that's going to be a rebound. Defensive center, if a three, but no, he isn't, so Turgeon has a rebound shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating and a seven, and that's a goal. So we're losing two now. That's his 47th goal of the year, assisted by Benoit Hogue. Oh, boy. So the left wing for Buffalo is going to come away with the puck on the face off. And that's Andrew Chuck. And Churla, Churla takes the puck away. Now he has it. And we're down 2 nothing here. And in a, just as soon as I get a break, I'm going to fast forward to two minutes left in the period. Andrew Chuck with a inside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing comes up with it. And that gives me the break that I need, and I am going to, let's see here, game, quick play, two minutes left in the first period, do it. And it is still 2 nothing, but um, we're being outshot 13-8. to eight. Michaela has the puck. Buffalo. And uh, yes, I'm going to try to intimidate. He couldn't dislodge it, so Turjan has an inside shot. Again, goalie rating again, and that's going to be a face off. So this time Hayward forces a face off to his left, and uh, that will. We've got a minute 20 left in the first period now, being outshot 14 to 8 and outscored 2 0 by Buffalo. Um, the player I'm going to give it to is Kurt Giles because he is across from a B. And 
And he has the puck. Buffalo taking control. Um, I'm going to intimidate, yes. And no, there won't be a penalty. So that was a great hit. Took the puck away and no penalty. Wait a minute. He didn't. I guess, man, I, I don't know. So Howard Chuck's inside with an inside shot. That's six. going to be lose to the defensive center. 50 seconds left in the period. And Dolan has an inside shot off a great pass. But that's going to be a save in the defensive left wing. Buffalo's left wing will come away with it. And that's the end of the first period. With the score, 2 nothing, Buffalo. All right, back for the second period. Take the face off. Losing two nothing, and we're uh, being outshot fifteen to nine. Brian Bellows gets the puck, comes away from the uh, face off with the puck. See if he can get something going for us. Uh, yeah, I'm going to intimidate. Doesn't work, and McGillney. As an inside shot. Goalie rating, eight, goal. And it's 3-0. Hmm. Not good. So we're being outshot 16-9 and outscored 3-0 now with 1941 left in the second period. McGillney with the puck for Buffalo. Outside shot for left wing. Player penetrated. So that's going to be Andrew Chuck inside. And he's going to get another goal. And it's 4 nothing. Hmm. Not good. Four nothing. We're being outside, and really the four goals are on seventeen shots, which is also pretty embarrassing. Rick Vive with the puck, and there's a penalty, and that's probably going to be on us. Uh, no, it looks like it's uh, offsetting between Bellows and Vibe. So. We've got the puck. Outside shot only for Bodger, who took the puck away. And that's going to be a rebound. And they've got a rebound shot from Michaela, or a tip pass by Michaela, and that didn't work. And we will give the puck to Madano because he's across from a B. Who knew Benoit Hogue was a B penalty? So I may do the same thing in this um, period. I may, like, at some point just go to two minutes left in the period to move the game along. I mean, I don't know if people want to sit there and watch us get destroyed by Buffalo. So got a, the uh, Madonna gets the puck.
And that is Gagne inside off a pass by Madonna. That's goalie rating plus. So it's going to be a uh, face off to Millar Chuck's right. Zettler, it looks like, has the puck. Um, he is going, I'm going to try to penetrate with Zettler, even though it's not a really great idea. And it's intercepted by Andrew Chuck. And now Snuggard is the guy who comes away with it, finally who has scored this game, Dave Snuggard, who I've never heard of in my life, and a breakaway for Duchesne, who took the puck away from him. But it's going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with it. And that's Rick Vi. Um, Bobby Smith with the puck. Yeah, I want to have Bobby Smith get the puck. Um, well, he just got his, he got wiped out after he got the puck. So now Pierre Turgeon has it for Buffalo. Turgeon has really been a fire in our face. Um, let's see. I'm going to give it to, um, I'm going to give the shot to Bobby Smith. I mean, that's the guy you want having the shot, frankly, and he's inside. And that's a goalie rating and a two to save any forward. So Terjan has the puck. Outside shot for left wing. And he penetrated. That's all we don't need. So Hoag with an inside shot as he wiggled himself inside. That's going to be a rebound. any defensive player, and I'm going to put it to Chris Dahlquist, who is across from a B. Thirteen forty-eight left in the second period. We're being outshot 20 to 12 and outscored four nothing. And Krupp, Uwe Krupp, has an outside shot. And that's a save by Hayward. And uh, Wilkinson has the puck for us. So that's another guy that I uh, don't recall having played for us. And it doesn't even look like he's on our roster here. If you look over here, I don't even see his name. So I don't know how he has the puck, but I don't know. Maybe he was up in the stands and we had him, we brought him down to suit up. Group is battling Wilkinson. Inside shot for the center, and that's Howardchuck. Dale Howardchuck got the puck, and there's a rebound. And uh, defensive right wing up a two. And he is, and that's Doug Smale. Gets the puck, comes away with it. Um, Gatan Duchesne, yeah, that's a good one. But Vive takes the puck away from him off of intimidation. And so now the Sabres are, they're seriously in the driver's seat as the second period is dwindling down. 
um, I'm going to give it to the shot. I'm going to give it to Bobby Smith. No penalty. Did they knock him off of it? Uh, no. They, I mean, they did. So Terzan now has the puck for Buffalo. And Hogue is inside. That's going to be a save defensive left defenseman. Wilkinson, the man who isn't even really on our active roster, digs it up. And Terjan with an outside shot. And by the way, that has happened before in other games. It's, I've seen it happen for us and for the other team. So there's a face-off to Hayward's left after his save and cover-up. And Doug Smale with the puck. They take the puck away, and Anderchuk, it looks like, has an outside shot only. And that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes in and has the puck. And with 10.22 left, I'm going to go ahead to the two minutes left in the second period to move this along. Uh, game. Quick play. Um, two minutes left in the second period. There we go. Yes, I do. And it's four to two. So we've actually cut into this, into their lead. And now we're only down by two. So that was good. Maybe I should do that a little more often. One twenty-one left in the second period, and now we're only being outside 27 to 16. Zettler has an option to intimidate, um, and we are going to take that, yes. Grant Ledyard. So Zettler has a puck now. So now we've got a new lease on life, but we only have one period to get back into this. And Ledyard takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And it's going to be X, any player, and I'm going to give it to Kurt Giles because he's across from a C, which is the um, biggest ruffian goon that's out there right now. And let's see, player for the shot will be, I guess, I guess Barazan. I mean, I would say Wilkinson, but he's not even really supposed to be on the ice or on the roster. So, so Barazan inside, maybe we can make it 4-3 right here. Uh, there's a rebound. But that's the end of the second period. So we come into the second period now only down by two goals, being outshot 28 17. Save 
on the shot by Madano, so their right defenseman, Grant Ledyard, comes away with it. And uh, looks like Gagne is going to have an outside shot option. And I'm going to try to pass. Inside shot for any player. Nice. Um, yeah, we're going to, we're definitely going to make it Madonna. So Madonna with an inside shot down 4 2 with 19 minutes left. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with the puck. And now uh, Miko Michaela has the puck. Ledyard all by himself, inside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman gets it. So Giles with the puck, 17.51 left, and we're down by two. And Uwe Krupp. Is it Uwe Krupp? Yeah, I think it's Uwe Krupp's got the puck. And it looks like Zettler took the puck away and has an outside shot. And he's going to take it because he sucks at passing and sucks at penetrating. And that's going to be a rebound. And yeah, I do want to deflect it. So tipped in front, deflection, right wing, Mike Madano. Goalie rating, uh, no goal. So Krupp has the puck. Now we're being outshot just 29-20. Still down by two, though, with 16-39 left in the game. And Brian Prop, yeah, I'll give it to Brian Prop. McGillney can't stop him, so it's Prop inside. That's what we would want. And that's 12, that's goalie rating plus. So it's going to be a face-off to Malarchuk's right. Huh. All right, any player can get the puck. I am going to give it to Gagne because he's the center and he's across from a B. Uh, all right, um, I'm going to try to pass. Okay, Madonna. Yeah, so Madonna with an inside shot. Come on, Madonna, man. And that's going to be a save defensive center. So their center comes away with the puck. And that's Christian Rutu. 16-14 left in the game. And Pierre Turgeon is the one with the puck now. 14-59 left. And Gagne took the puck away and has an outside shot. We got a score here pretty pretty soon, I would think. Goalie rating, nine, goal. Yes, it's 4-3. We're only down by a goal. Now. So this is a wild one. And we've got over 14 minutes left in the game. So that should be plenty of time to get the tying goal. Gagne with his 41st goal on assists from Madano and Brian Prop. Yeah, we got to capitalize here and get another goal. Prop with the puck.
Yeah, I'm going to say try to intimidate. That might be a penalty. It is a penalty. Man, we did not need that. All right, two minutes in the box for Giles. And a face off to Hayward's left with us shorthanded for two minutes, which will leave us with only 12.22 to get the tying goal once he comes back. Not that we can't get it shorthanded because we have scored shorthanded goals before, but I am going to intimidate. It doesn't work and Rick Vive with an inside shot. That's going to be a save, and it goes to the right wing. And that's Neil Broad. Down by just a goal here. We just have to keep the puck out of the net and then try to get the tying goal. Andrew Chuck with an inside shot. And that's a goalie rating. And a six, and that's a goal. All right, well, probably not going to happen then. So that ends the penalty, but uh, at the 14-12 mark, I'm going to move ahead to quick play to um, four minutes left in the third. And let's see what that gets us. It's 6-3. So that was worse. But you got to believe that's probably what was going to happen. I mean, we just really have not been playing well this game. We have um, Duchesne with an inside shot. And I'm they put Casey in. I'm probably going to take him back out and put in. Hayward again because checking in I'm still a piece of garbage we want Casey to get his rest um let's see here home lines well I guess I can't change the goalie they're not letting me there's no option to change the goalie well then I'm going to pull the goalie And we'll put Madonna out there as the extra skater. Which we really should do anyway. We're down by three with 232 left. There's no way that we're going to win the game if we don't get three goals. And Hogue with an outside shot on an empty net. And the left wing comes away with the puck. That's Duchesne. Minute 51 left. Bobby Smith with an outside shot. And that's going to be a lose to the left wing. And that's Andrew Chuck with a minute 23 left in the period and the game. Um, Doug Smale has an outside shot. We'll just let him shoot. Goalie rating for face off. So face off to Millar Chuck's right. Minute 23 left. We're losing 6 3. They come away with the puck. Bodger has it. 39 seconds left. And that's going to be, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to intimidate, which I don't know why, but no, pen no penalty on that. Kesmer with the puck. And 
And Bobby Smith with an outside shot. This may be the last play of the game. And it's going to be a lose to the right wing. And it is. And we lose 6-3. We were outshot 39-33. Let's see who the stars of the game were. Stars of the game were Dave Randerchuk for Buffalo, Dave Gagne for Minnesota, and Pierre Turgeon for Buffalo. So that's what we got, folks. The game is over. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.